up YouTube. Look at what I got. Just got a cool wheel electric skateboard. So let's unbox this thing and um yeah, let's unbox this thing. Let's open this puppy up. Man, this box is heavy. I wonder what's inside up here. now. Let's uh, open this puppy up. Sit like this. Ooh. Oh, and these also have red bearings inside of this one. I like the red bearings. They're really good bearings. Come with some stickers. This is the manual. And let's get down to the bottom. Let's get to the goods. Here we go. We got the cool wheel. Oh, this is um a black deck with black wheels. Wow, right, look at this thing, yo. You got us a cool wheel. It's brand new in the box. Look at that grip tape. I like that grip tape. It feels really good. Let's see, let's see what else is in this box. All right, we have a battery. This is a battery for the boot for the cool wheel. Nice size battery there. This is battery number one, and we also have a remote. It's a cool wheel remote. It's gonna take a second to get used to, honestly. Just I'm just being real. Here we have a, um, this is a second battery. Yeah, so a second battery. For those days that I want to, you know, stay out a long time and not charge my board. Because if you guys follow my other videos on YouTube, you know how I spend a lot of time charging my boosted board. Here's the charger for the skateboard. Oh my gosh, this charger is so much smaller. Oh my gosh, this charger is so much smaller than my boosted board charger. Look at this thing. It's light too. I would not mind having this in my backpack. Like, that's light. And this is the connection cable for the USB controller. Should probably charge this thing now. <laughs> um, then here... I don't exactly know what these are, but I believe these hold the battery in place. That's just my guess, just right off the bat, without looking at any um, instructions or anything. Look at this thing before. Okay, oh, this is a second remote. Yeah, this is a second remote, so we'll have to um, go out and test this thing out, man. So this is the cool wheel I just got hooked up with the cool wheel yo um and this is uh pretty dope so from there you want to clamp it down these screws So um, yeah, let's charge this bad boy and uh, get ready for some cool will adventures. Some cool will adventures, yo. Now another thing about the cool will, it does have an app and I just downloaded it from the app store. I'm gonna get the hang of this really fast. Got this cool will manual, ooh, scary. Ah, oh, there's the how to charge remote and there's the board indicator lights, that sort of thing. And let's go over here. Warning. <laughs> Avoid these things that can cause slipping. Gravel, water, uphill, downhill. Oh, you want me to avoid uphill and downhill? I mean, come on, I gotta ride uphill and downhill. Avoid these items that can cause tripping. Cracks, large rocks, um, tracks, 
grates and drains. Definitely grates and drains can be really, really dangerous. Avoid these things that can cause collision, traffic, nighttime, obstacles, poor vision. These are like all really important things to um to know if you're riding an electric skateboard or any electric skateboard. These are all important. And here's like the contact number and then here is like, you know, the stats of the board, that sort of thing. Feel free to pause the video and check it out. Um the package list. Yeah, this thing is pretty cool. I got me a cool wheel, yo. I'm about to be cool with a wheel. Yo, just out on the cool wheel now, headed down a hill. I'm just testing out the braking. I'm gonna go back up this hill, test out how much power this thing has going uphill. So far, this, this, this thing is really, really smooth, by the way. They've done a lot of work with the remote. The braking is not so sticky. I remember when I was out on Heather's cool wheel, I would step on the brake and I would just go forward like this. One thing about the cool wheel that's a little bit different, the acceleration is pretty dang fast. So you kind of have to like ease into it. But then once you push your finger down, you just accelerate. Now the board doesn't flex like the boosted board, but that's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I kind of like the way the deck feels. Um, it's just a different feeling. Like it's just a different skateboard. It's, it's just like driving a Honda Civic versus you know, driving a Nissan. Like, they're both cars, but they're just gonna respond differently. And the idea today was just to um, ride the cool wheel here on Staten Island. But, I mean, just, I don't know, after five minutes of riding this thing, I think it's time to take the cool wheel to the city. And since I have an extra battery, I won't have to hang around and charge. Like, I have to hang around and charge the booster board, that sort of thing. I don't exactly know what area I'm in. I'm, I'm just, just out riding around. I see a lot of really, really big hills that I can test the cool wheel out around here. And uh, yeah, that's what I want to do is just put some tests on this thing real fast. Test out the battery, see how far the range is. And I also need to download the cool wheel app and see what the app's all about. Uh, let's see how this turn goes. This is really weird. Making a turn like this on a skateboard that I've never used for the first time. Now this road here is a super, super bumpy road. I'm gonna try to cross the street here. I think it's a little bit smoother over there. This is super bumpy, and um, man, this the cool wheels is taking these bumps. Now these wheels are slightly bigger than the boosted board wheels. I'm trying to go over random stuff like this. It's not so bad. Now here is a pretty dang bumpy surface. This is after the first ride. Now one thing I've discovered, this thing is uh, its a little tough to stay on. However, you're not supposed to ride the cool wheel through water, so if you see a puddle of water, you might want to stop. But I like these wheels. Now one thing I've quickly discovered is this remote, if it's in your hand, you can easily like press the button like this and the skateboard will like go. So a second ago when I had the skateboard like just sitting off to the side, I had the remote in my hand and I pressed the button and it just like took off. So you kind of have to be a little careful with the remote. The remote does have a lanyard clip here. It, now it didn't come with a lanyard clip, but you can probably like attach it with a string or something like that to keep it on your hand, that sort of thing, because you wouldn't want to drop this while you're riding, especially if you're going like 20 miles an hour. How, you know, you're not going to have to control it or brake. Just some little nasty bumps here. 
Oh, that was super easy. This is nothing. I don't. I don't know. I think it's really close to the bus stop. Yeah, I think so. I think you might be too close. I make YouTube videos. Oh, you on Instagram? Whoa, I hit the right way. I'm a model. I just moved here from Atlanta. Oh, really? Yes. This is me right here. 901 Kelly. Okay. That's me on YouTube, too. Okay. What's, uh, what's you on Instagram? Skydrio. I just followed you. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice to meet you. Up every now and then. It's one thing I love about New York, man. You just be walking down the street and just meet random girls all the time. I'm gonna go check that girl out on Instagram, but for now, I, I gotta finish this video and then I gotta get to the city and make another video. But I, I like this cool wheel thing. I'm actually ready to go to the city now and take this bad boy. I wanna say the cool wheel is slightly smoother than the boosted board because on this road right here, I wanna say that my feet would hurt a little bit more. But on the cool wheel, it, they don't hurt as much. When I mean hurt, I'm talking about vibrations, not like 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 hurt, like I need to stop. These hills look pretty big. See how the cool wheel takes these. All right, let's go. And we going up. I'm just gonna go full throttle here. It's gonna take a second to get up here because it's a pretty big hill. Do it. I am going pretty slow right now. But you know what? Slow is not the worst thing in the world. I'd rather be going slow up this hill than walking up this hill with the skateboard in my hand. Also, I don't know if I'm on the fastest mode. I believe I'm set on the middle mode right now. But anyway, I'm still cruising up this hill and I'm not walking. That's really, really important. Cruising, yo. Getting a lot of weird looks in this neighborhood because I'm on an electric skateboard and I got the big camera in my hand with a dead cat on top. So people are like, what is this guy doing? If you're wondering, this is New York. This is uh, Staten Island. I like Staten Island. It's pretty chill. Like I can actually make a decent video here because there's hills, there's not a lot of traffic, there's, there's nice straightaways. I really need to cross the street here. Good, the lights about the train. All right, so these are real life tests here, like on the street with other cars and stuff. That was easy. So if I was on my booster board right now, I'd probably be charging the battery. <laughs> we oh, I'm, I'm getting the hang of this thing, yo. This is a lot of fun, actually. I'm, yo, this is I'm getting the hang of this thing, yo. This is not so bad. I wish this thing had easier reverse because I could like get out of situations like this a little bit easier, you know. Every now and then this happens to your board. Let's continue to go this way. Once again, I like that deck that doesn't flex, you know? It, it's really cool sometimes when you're on a deck and it doesn't flex. So definitely it's an incline and we're just cruising straight up this thing just like we're, you know, on an electric skateboard. <laughs> I'm loving this, I'm loving this. And today is a great day, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. I mean, I guess it's sprinkling, but we'll, we'll, I'll keep my fingers crossed that it doesn't rain before I get back to the, to the house and switch out for the BB if it's gonna rain. Because if it's gonna rain, I'll take the booster board. If it's not gonna rain, if it does rain, that means I'm gonna have to carry this thing in the city all day and I won't be able to ride it. Now, if, it, if it's raining with the booster board, I can, I can ride it, you know, if it's not raining too hard. 
But if it's like pouring, you know, I wouldn't ride any electric skateboard for the most part. The rain is actually coming down now. I may have to jump into an Uber in a second. Um, I think it's gonna rain, so I'm gonna I'm gonna flip a U-turn and go back, switch out the boards because I don't want to um, get this board wet, and I also don't want to get the camera wet either. That would be a really bad idea. Come on, car, let's go. All right. Wow, this is uh, like cobblestone, not so smooth. Oh, at least some real life tests here. I just take this bad boy out in the middle of the street, yo. <laughs> That's how you really test it out. All right, made it back and it's not it's not pouring yet, so that's a really good sign. Where is the battery level? I am on 3 bars. So I probably rode about 5 miles and I got three bars left. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all, yo. Back indoors from the cool wheel test. And man, it is hot outside. I got the AC on. Got the cool wheel right over here. Just chilling. And yo, um, the cool wheel is a lot of fun. I really like the range that the cool wheel offers. It, you know, it's going to take a second to get used to, but I feel that I'm already getting used to it. But there is a little rain in the forecast right now and it's like sprinkling, so I thought it would be a good idea to just come back inside and just, you know, chill out. Don't I don't want to get the board wet, that sort of thing. I just got this thing. I want to put some miles on it. Don't want to destroy it. I can't wait to keep riding this thing, and I want to take it to the city, but, you know, with the rain, I think I'm going to hold off. But maybe in tomorrow's vlog, I will take the cool wheel to the city. It's just got to be one of those clear days. But for now, um, I really like the cool wheel. I really like the cool wheel. There will definitely be more videos made with the cool wheel. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button right below. If you want to see more skateboarding videos from me, I have tons of electric skateboarding videos. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching and peace out, yo.